each other. Oh, they have earnings today? I forgot. Oh my God, Snapchat's down 20%. Oh my God, Snapchat's... Oh no, we'll get back to Intel in a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot about Snapchat. Oh my God, how many times is this going to happen for Snapchat? I have no position in Snapchat, but every time they figure some shit out, oh, it just falls to the wayside. Every time, dude, the stock has been stuck at like nine bucks, and then people buy it. And oh, at nine bucks, it's cheap, it runs up to 15, and then it just crashes. What the hell did Snapchat say? Apple's not out yet. Apple, we got 18 minutes. Uh, Snapchat revenue, 1.23 billion versus 1.25. Missed on revenue. EPS negative 15 versus negative 0.16. Still losing profits, but you know, barely beat on EPS. Uh, there you go. MicroStrategy, by the way, revenue 111 versus 121. So they missed on revenue by 10 million. EPS, they lost $5.74 a share versus $1.11, uh, they missed badly on EPS. However, they're not down that much because of some reason. I don't know the reason for that, but they're not down that much. Maybe it's because the market only cares about Bitcoin with them, but not sure. Amazon down 3.4, Intel down 11, Snapchat down 22% right now. Are there any beats? The only beat is Roku, I think. Let me pull up Roku real quick. Yeah, Roku's up a bit. Uh, oh my God, here's why Intel's really down, guys. They suspended their dividend. They suspended the dividend. Coin is not out yet. Or maybe coin coming out in like two seconds. Maybe a point or point. But Intel, so real quick on Intel, EPS of two cents versus 10 cents. So they missed on EPS. Revenue 12.8 versus 12.9. They missed on revenue. They're suspending the dividend in Q4. So you got one quarter left of collecting a dividend. I mean, people, the only reason people are really owning it. Uh, and they're initiating a $10 billion cost-cutting plan, which is good. That's why we have the layoffs, but still, not the best. Okay, Coinbase. We have DoorDash today. Let me add DoorDash. DoorDash is up 15%. Okay, we'll get DoorDash in a second, but DoorDash numbers are good. Coinbase up 1%. When we pull up Coinbase, yeah, we have Square. We'll look at Square in a second as well. Let's do Coin. Coinbase revenue is uh, $1.45 billion versus... It actually handled that really, really good if you saw that. That's impressive. So if you saw that lady trying to cross the street on the other side, well, we had the blinking red lights and knew that that wasn't a light. It had to stay at till it turned green. It knew by blinking that it was basically a stop sign um, and to go when there was no traffic. And then that lady didn't go, so the car went. And then she went, and then we didn't. And then back and forth, back and forth car committed then she committed then the car stopped and let her go and then the car went so that was that's impressive and it did it smooth like as smooth as you you know one of us could do it didn't like stop for like 30 seconds and freak out and have like a glit a brain glitch it um it, I mean, it drove just how you and I would. So it doesn't matter too much, but their growth is good. Uh, transaction revenue was 780 million versus 745. So they made about 40 million more on transaction revenue, which is bullish. That's good. Uh, but overall, not enough to make some math. Okay, let's go to Square. Square is down 3%. Square is down 3%. Let me pull up Square's numbers as well. Let me see what else we have. There. Okay, let, let, let's do DoorDash real quick. I think we have DoorDash. And then we'll do Square. Then we'll do Square. Apple in about 15 minutes. Here's DoorDash. Uh, about 14.5%, 15% here in overtime. Uh, DoorDash reporting a Q2 beat on the top line and a beat on the profitability metrics that the company guides to. This is important. I spoke to the CFO earlier this afternoon. The company doesn't guide to earnings per share, so that number is going to look like it missed consensus because a couple of one-time items. The guide here is a beat as well. So DoorDash reporting Q2 revenue of $2.63 billion versus $2.54 expected. Loss per share is $0.58, cents, while analysts were expecting $0.09 cent loss. But again, that's gap and due to one-time items, including a write down on office space and a set-aside for legal costs. But from operations, contribution profit came in above expectations at $825 million versus $782 expected. Adjusted EBITDA also came in way above expectations at $430 million versus $392 expected. Um, okay, 
so DoorDash beat on the top and the bottom line. That's good. Uh, DraftKings is now tanking. Amazon is still tanking. I mean, it's not tanking, but down 4% is tough on a $2 trillion company. Uh, DraftKings has tanked down. Oh adjust it a little God. bit for the construction right. cones. So real quick, let me do Square. So Square gross profit of $2.23 billion. That's like Picking them up is like Net bumps in the road. Billion. That's up year over year. Gap GP is 31 cents. That's up uh, more than 100% year over year. CEO Jack Dorsey says we're currently on track to reach a move of 40 by 2026. That's not good to know that it's to get to that level. With adjusted operating income margins expanding to get from year over year for both Square and Cash App. Uh, and it looks like they beat on revenue. Square GPP, 58 billion, that's up 8% year-to-year. Cash App monthly transacting activities is only up 5% year-to-year. And monthly active users on the Cash App card is only up 13% year-to-year. Not horrible, but not amazing. They repurchased 400 million in stock in Q2, and they're raising the full year gross profit outlook to 8.89 billion. Not a horrible earnings, but it's not enough to get the tweet excited. Square is, well, where you went from red to green, so at least it's a little green, up 1.19%. Uh, so Square, you got a little bit of green there right now. Mercado Libre is up 8%. Square has been beat up a lot this year. Uh, so Square getting some momentum after these numbers, but initially was down 5%. DoorDash up 13%. That's something the street really wanted. Snapchat still down 20%. And Cloudflare is up 9%. Okay, so SaaS is getting some momentum. Apple's out at 430. Not yet. Uh, Marathon is earnings today. Let me put that on the list. Amazon's still down. Marathon. Marathon's up 1.54. Coinbase, remember, 10%, I think, of their gross profits goes into DCA on Bitcoin on the balance sheet, um, which is okay, but not the best. Oh, they missed on revenue. Never mind. Square missed on revenue. 6.16 billion versus 6.28. They beat on EPS, but they missed on revenue. That's probably why it was down 5% initially, but now it's recovering a little bit. Uh, revenue is up 11% year over year at 6.16 billion, but it is down from the expectations. Square up 2.69% right now. Roku up 5.73. Intel down 12%. Amazon down 4%. Let's pull up Cloudflare. Let's see if I can get those numbers as well. Oh boy, so far these are not great earnings. These are not great earnings. These are not horrible, but these are not great earnings. Coinbase is up 3% right now. Uh, Cloudflare, revenue 400 million versus 394. They beat on revenue by about 6 million. EPS, uh, it looks like they beat on EPS. I, I'm pretty sure it looks like they beat on EPS. It's a little confusing looking at it. I think they beat on EPS. That's why it's up right now, 9%. Um, yeah, it looks like, if I'm not reading it wrong, Cloudflare beat on EPS. If you've watched this far, this video is just another example on how great full self-driving has become with this new 12.5 and 12.5.1 update. Um, just a ride through town flawlessly, flawlessly. And uh, it's, it's beautiful. You know, you can really just ride through town and I could have literally been asleep. Not that I would have done that, but I could have literally been asleep that whole time and it would have it would have made it to this location flawlessly with that undecided passenger with the construction zone, um, all the little short lights that go to another light. I mean, there was a lot of a lot of difficult scenarios there and full self-driving handled it flawlessly.